it's Morella Manelli, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm so excited because I'm gonna share with you these golden hour highlights on curly hair. And I'm even more excited because there's some brand new shades that Kenra Color just launched. But before we get started, make sure you give this video a like, make sure to subscribe, and also turn on all notifications so you don't miss a tutorial. Now, let's go ahead and get started. My model hasn't gotten her hair done in over a year and a half and she's ready for a little change. So I am pre-sectioning her into six sections. So right down the middle and then at the arch of the eyebrow right on back and from the apex right on top of the ear and then right down the center and the back. For her formula, I'm going in with 7GV at a 1 to 1 mixing ratio with 20 volume developer. And then for her mids and ends, I'm going to be using 9GV at a 1 to 1 mixing ratio with 20 volume developer. And then for her highlights, I'm going to use Beyond Bond Lightener at a 1 to 2 mixing ratio with 20 volume developer. For her application, I'm going to be starting out in the back sections first and applying the 7GV on the root area in the section that I'm working with one section at a time, taking quarter inch subsections in between and making sure to thoroughly saturate each side of my section. And I'm also bringing this color down about a couple inches or so because I'm gonna be doing a color melt as well as some TZ lights in between. This is just how I personally like to apply a full color and highlight application since I'm going to be doing roots to ends color application as well as a rooted TZ light application all at the same time. This gives me the most control and this also allows me to mix up a fresh batch of new color or lightener as I start to work throughout her head, especially since this is gonna take me a little bit more than just 15 minutes to apply. Once I get her root color on, I'm now going to go in with diagonal sections throughout the entire back quadrant. So I'm going diagonal back. And for that very first section, I color melted through 9GV onto those mids and ends and made sure to get a nice blend. For my next section, I comb the hair all the way up and then weave out the section that I want to create. So for her curls, I like to personally go in a little chunky because the chunkier the highlight, the more brightness or visible those highlights will be when we're all done here. So I personally like how curly hair looks framed with a solid color. That's why I chose to go in with the color melt first and then incorporate interior highlights. So again, comb the hair up, weave those chunky highlights out, and now I'm gonna tease this hair, giving me an even more rooted effect, allowing for it to look like a balayage, but also a foliage, if you will. So it's just gonna give me the most natural effect possible for her curls. I don't really want these to look like chunky highlights, but I do want an overall brightened effect. So another little tip is to use a color board for really long hair like this. This is gonna allow you to get a really nice blend when you start stroking your product right on up. It just gives you a little bit more tension going on. And then for those mids and ends, I'm just gonna surface paint right on the top of this and then layer up one more foil right underneath that. So that way we can keep all of this hair inside of a foil and it's gonna give me the brightest lift possible. I'm gonna continue on with this pattern of applying my 7GV and color melting it into 9GV, and then for the next section, weaving out those chunky highlights, teasing them, and making sure to color melt the 7GV right into my Beyond Bond Lightener, creating a foliage and TZ light technique. Once I'm done with the back sections, I'm then gonna move on towards the front. So something to note is that I'm gonna be taking this front hairline and I'm gonna apply the color melt, which is the 7GV into 9GV. And the reason is because I want the frame of her face, including the back section, 
to be more of that solid color. So I don't really want the highlights to really be showing right onto her hairline. I want all of her highlights to be in the interior and just kind of give me a nice glow. For the rest of this section from the arch of the eyebrow down, I'm then going to be going in with diagonal forward sections so that way we can create a little bit more of a pop of color as those highlights start to lay forward since she wears her hair kind of going towards her face. So again, I'm gonna take that exterior of the section and apply my 7GV, color melting it into the 9GV, and here you can see there is a V-shaped section here of more of that solid color or frame. I'm then gonna use that same technique that I was using in the back and weaving out some chunky highlights and then teasing this hair. So there's seven GV right at the base, giving me that rootage. And then this TZ light is then gonna even allow for a little bit more of that rooted effect. I'm still using my board and giving me that tension and then surface painting those mids and ends and making sure that it's wrapped into a foil so I get the brightest blonde possible, but also giving me that balayaged effect. You're also noticing that I'm going in with diagonal forward highlights right here from the arch of the eyebrow right on down. And this is because she typically wears her hair going towards her face. So when she does, it's gonna give me a little bit more contrast versus if she wears her hair away from her face. If you want to learn more about placement of highlights and the effects they create, you can check out my other hair tutorial called Four Foil Placements and the effects they create. So you can fully understand the difference between vertical, horizontal, and diagonal forward and diagonal back. Once I get this bottom front section done, I'm then going to move on towards the top. So for the top section, I'm going to be going diagonal back instead of diagonal forward like I did on this underside. And this is just giving me a little bit more blend for that top section. So I'm still going to take the exterior hairline and color melt that from the 7GV into the 9GV. And again, this is just to create a more solid color effect around that hairline, creating more of a frame and building those interior highlights. I'm then going to go in with pulling those chunky highlights again, right on out, teasing them and creating my teasy foliage effect. From this point on, you kind of get the idea of the direction that I'm going in with each of my highlights and each of the sections. And now I'm just gonna let this process and keep an eye on it, but I am gonna allow the color to process for at least 30 minutes. Now this is a non-progressive hair color that you're working with, with the exception of the lightener. The lightener will continue to process, but I'm not worried of over depositing or anything like that. It's a huge question that I get asked. I'm just gonna allow for that last section to process for the full 30 minutes, but I am gonna keep an eye on these foils as they continue to process. And then we're gonna get ready for her final glaze. I often get asked how I untangle TZ light. So I wanted to show you the process here. And so I'm just removing her foils and then I thoroughly rinse it and then give her a really good shampoo right onto the roots. This actually loosens some of the teas just a little bit. And then here I'm spraying pearl detangler right onto the root, but you can also use a mask and then comb the hair through using a detangling brush designed for wet hair like this Fermar brush. Once she's detangled, I'm now gonna mix up my demi-permanent formula to tone her highlights right at the bowl. So I'm using VP Rapid Toner at a one to two mixing ratio with nine volume developer. And I'm just gonna apply this from roots to ends, starting in the back and then working my way towards the front. And this is a rapid toning service. So I only processed this for four minutes. For her final style, I wanna embrace those curls. So I'm gonna go in with Lux Shine Oil, just a few pumps right onto her wet curls. And I'm just gonna scrunch this in. And then I'm gonna layer in one of my favorite products for curly hair, which is the Curl Defining Cream. And this is just gonna give me lots of hydration as well as define each of those curls without the crunch. 
once I have these products evenly distributed throughout her hair, I'm then going to dry her with my Dyson hair dryer with the diffuser attachment on high heat and low blow and taking my time. The biggest feedback that I can give you about drying curls is to not bounce the dryer around. Just scoop up the hair and push it all the way up and allow the dryer to dry the curls in place. The less you move your dryer around, the more control you're going to get and way less frizz. And here's the final result of these gorgeous golden hour highlights on curly hair using all Kenra color. And just to give you a little recap, I went in with the brand new shades of 7GV right at the root at a one to one mixing ratio with 20 volume developer and then blended that right into 9GV one to one with 20 volume developer and then added in some TZ lights blending it from that 7GV into Beyond Bond Lightener at a one to two mixing ratio with 20 volume developer. And I processed her for about 35 minutes and then shampooed her and then did her final glaze using VP Rapid Toner at a one to two mixing ratio with nine volume developer and toned her right at the bowl for just four minutes. So I really hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial and if you did, please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe and be sure to check out my other hair tutorials on this channel. You can also find me on my other social channels like Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and Facebook, all under Morella Minnelli. And comment down below if you found this video helpful. And I hope to see you next time.